Hi, I'm Jason, and in this part 3 tutorial on the dedicated Windows Counter-Strike source server, I'll show you how to add a bot profile. Now, I've had great difficulty finding out how to do this with the Steam CMD server installation, because everybody on the web seems to be talking about the botprofile.db file, which I don't seem to have anywhere in my game server files. But don't worry, this isn't a difficult thing to do. The first thing that we do need to do though is get a bot profile and we can do this by just opening up a web browser. Let's go to Google and I'm going to type in here bot profile.db and we'll select CSS for Counter-Strike Source. And here we should see, there's one here in uh, GameBanana.com, so let's use this Diverse Bots version 1.1a, which somebody else has done. So let's highlight all of this. As you can see, it's a rather large file. And I'm going to right click and say Copy. And we don't need that anymore, so let's close it. Uh, I'm going to open up a Notepad++ blank file. You can just use standard Notepad. And I'm going to paste all of that text in there. So as you can see, it's a rather large file. And we'll have a look at it in more detail in a moment. But for now, I'm going to File, Save As, and let's just call it Bot Profile. And we'll put it on the desktop. Save. Good, okay, so here is our botprofile.txt. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename the file extension to db. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. So there is my bot profile db. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and we'll just call it bots. And I'm going to move the bot profile db into the bots folder. Okay, so so far, fairly simple. Now here's the enlightening thing. I'm going to open up my game server files. So let's just open file location here. So here I am in my C Strike uh, game server file, which you would have noticed from my previous two videos. And what I'm looking for is I'm not going to go into C Strike folder itself. I'm going to open up the bin folder from the root directory of my game server. Now if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, there is a file here called vpk.exe. And all we do is we simply drag from our desktop the bots folder that we created with our uh, botprofile.db inside and we drag that and just drop it on top of the vpk.exe file. Now what that will do is it creates a bots.vpk file back on our desktop. So this is great. So what we need to do now is go back up one level. And this time I'm going to go into C Strike. I'm going to go into Custom. And I am going to copy that straight in. As you've noticed I've already done it previously but let's just copy and replace and that's all there is to it and you're good to go. Before I go let's just have a quick look at this bots.vpk. Now obviously you can't change anything in here while the game server is running and my game server isn't currently running. Um, so we'll edit this with Notepad++ again and what we can see here is it gives you all the information that you need to know about the skill levels, the aggression, the reaction time etc etc. But more importantly, when you go down here, it tells you that these templates inherit from default and override with their values, and the name of the template defines a type that is used by individual bot profiles. And all the bot profiles are listed all the way down here. Now, let's say, for example, in my particular um, game server, I have all my bots set to normal ability. So if I scroll down here, what it will tend to do is use these bots here. So AWP Pro plus True Sniper, uh, and this here is the actual bot name. Uh, 
So if I wanted to, I could change the names of these bots to whatever I like. And as you can see, uh, somebody else has already created this file and randomly made loads of these different names. But for example, I could say, let's call this bot Hyper, Hyper Survivor. And maybe I could change the name of this bot to Chicken Recon, something like that. And then just simply save and close. And then when you fire your server up, you'll find that uh, those bot names will appear if you have bots switched on. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. It certainly took me a long time to figure out how to do this um, uh, because I should imagine it was probably about eight to ten years ago that I last dabbled in the arts of Counter-Strike source servers and I used to use things called Manny Admin and things like that which, which I think still do exist but they're no longer supported. So uh, maybe I'll do a, another video after this if, if anybody uh, wants me to do another video to do with adding extra add-ons uh, such as source mod, um, maybe changing maps or adding maps or adding sounds then please comment, subscribe, let me know what you want and I'll create you a video. Thanks very much, thanks for watching.